Hello my little sugar buggers, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and do a much needed mod review. So yesterday I took to the Twitter feeds and I voiced my opinion of my needs and what I would love to have um, added to the Sims 4 games because I feel like, you know, even though <laughs> I, 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 I might want to just like feel like I'm a special little bumblebee, I kind of do feel like the Sims team has heard some of my requests in the past. <clears throat> Butlers. <laughs> I mean, coincidence? I think not. One of the things I've even like mentioned actually to the Sims team once when I was at a EA headquarters in Redwood Shores is I personally feel like Sims should have their own individual funds. Like, yes, you're a family, so you would think you would share like the family pot, but that's not really how it works. For instance, same as Cassandra Goth, she's a teenager, I know, but she works. She works as a fry cook and every day she goes to work making her measly $18 an hour. That honestly doesn't really do much for the household, but it does something for her. It gives her her own spending cash, it gives her her own money, also teaches her a really cool sense of responsibility and every day she makes about like $80 or so. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was some way that we were able to save that cash and be able to apply it to our future? Because when Sims move out, yes, they get $20,000, but it's like, I raised you, I helped you with your skills, and all you get, either way, is $20,000. Like, what if when you were a teen, you started saving money um, or even as a child even, and you started saving money, earning your own cash, and having something show for it. So when you moved out, maybe you had $20,000, maybe you had less. It kind of just depends on how you know money-oriented and determined one could be. So that was one of the things I really wanted. Also, I was thinking of like pull-out couches. I thought that would be really cool for like guests and stuff. I wish there was a way to like have guests stay the night, which I think there is. There may be, but... I might be having like a temporary lapse of like memory here where I feel like it's only a romantic thing. It's probably not. Today, I don't necessarily have the answer to all your prayers, but I do have a really simplistic kind of happy medium. Today, we're gonna be reviewing, <laughs> long intro, um, pause, reviewing the Sims 4 stack of cash mod or cash mod. All right, but this is like a really simple idea. This little pack you install into your game, no script mods, nothing crazy, Easy. It's literally drag and drop. There is four objects in total and they are actually located in the deco <laughs> decoration section. So let's just go pop over there really quick and I'll explain to you the pros and the cons of having this mod. Like why should you use a mod instead of using regular items if it does kind of the same thing? It doesn't do the same thing. I'll, I'll tell you why. <laughs> right here we have the first thing which is the unicorn Futures Children Bank. Futures Children Bank? Future Children Bank. I don't know why that sounds so weird. Then we have a bar of gold worth $1,000, and then a stack of five bars of gold worth five grand, and then a bag of cash that's worth 10,000 simoleons. First and foremost, when you buy an object instantly, it loses about 25% of its value, right? So by saving money, you're losing money, honey, and nobody wants to be losing any cash around here. Um, now, I wish there was more options for cheaper items with this kind of ratio that's been enhanced, so every object will be valued at 25% more than what it is actually purchased for. Therefore, you aren't losing any money, but you have to sell the items individually. So you buy a bar of gold, pretty fancy little bar of gold there. You can even like turn a whole bunch of these piggy banks into a thousand dollars or whatever you want to do. I love it. I think it's cute. Um, I could definitely see like Angelica stacking up her coins, paying off the private investigator, you know, paying people in bags of cash, that kind of stuff. Um, so you can actually stack them, I believe, but I think they have to be stacked on the floor. So yes, yeah, so you can stack them um, as high, let's see, as high as you want. Let's see. Okay, so I'm at like four... Five. I don't know if there's a limit to how, I mean, I think this could go on forever. If you wanted to sell them, you could sell them individually. And as you can see, you actually end up making money. Like I said, the 25% thing, put your game into game mode. And then I'm pretty positive. Once you go and delete it, there you go. It's only worth that thousand dollars and you have to like sell them individually, um, in order to 
you know, get your money back. Otherwise, I think if you sell them as a group, they lose their, their value a little bit. I totally forgot to show you. Um, <laughs> back at it again. Hello. If you wanted to, you can actually, gosh, Cassandra, you are loaded. Um, you can inventory these items too. So that's how it's like a personal thing. If you don't want them like laying all over the house or whatever, you can actually just put them in your Sims inventory. And I'm pretty freaking positive. You could probably leave them at other people's houses, other places and things like as a form of payment. So there's other ways that you could actually use those. It's really good for saving up if you want to, like I said, have a room full of bars of gold. So it takes away from your household funds. So you're not necessarily like always tapping in. There's some sort of like clear line, way to have your own money, save, you know what I mean? And I love that it goes into your inventory. So like if Mortimer wanted his own cash, he could have his own money. You could divide up your household funds that way if you wanted to. When Sims move out even because it's in their inventory. It's just a really easy, simplistic way for Sims just to have their own cash. Now, no, it's not necessarily as clear cut as like say a tab where Cassandra has her own amount of money and then the money that she makes goes into her funds every day. I wish, I really genuinely wish that was a thing. But for now, with a little bit of legwork, you could easily write down on a notepad. If you wanted to, you could easily just go like, hey, Cassandra made, you know, $80 a day. And then when she hits 200, buy her a piggy bank, put her in her inventory. Uh, and then maybe when she reaches, you know, how many, five piggy banks, you can buy her a bar of gold. You know what I mean? Or if you want your Sims to work and then save up for that fancy dancy house that they're trying to get into, or maybe you want them to perhaps save up for that dream vacation or a business. That's also another way that you could use this mod to your advantage. So I think that's pretty much about it. Like I said, it's a really easy drag and drop method. You don't really need to install any script mods or anything like that, which makes it really user friendly and seriously like the easiest thing ever to use. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if this is something you will be using. This is something I'm definitely going to be using in my game, especially in Black Widow. And uh, I will have the links to all of this fun stuff in the comments down below for you guys to go ahead and check out. And if you guys have any other mods you would like me to review or what have you, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Might I add, if you're looking for a very similar mod in being able to transfer objects only, you should check out the pack and crates. I'll also link those down below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go and comment, read, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below with Sims and Shine. And I'll see you all next time.